One of the easiest digital products that you can create and offer for your audience right now is an ebook. You can literally do this in one day. So in today's video, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step exactly how to create an ebook. And then in tomorrow's video, I'm going to show you how you can offer this for sale. So of course, for this, we are going to use my favorite graphic design software for beginners, and that is Canva. This is going to make it super simple for you to create a stunning professional looking ebook. All right, let's dive in. All right, so to create your ebook, all you have to do is go to canva.com, set up your free account, and once you log in, this is what you will see. You'll see a search bar at the top here, so simply come up here and type in US letter. Great, so you'll see US letter document, click on that, and then you can just for now click blank. So this is going to open up the Canva editor. Now, over here on the left side, you will see all these different templates that you can choose from for your design. So one thing I would recommend you do is look for a template design with more than one page. So if I hover over it and it just says free, then that means there's only one page. However, if I hover over it and it says one of two, uh, and it moves like this, that means that there are multiple pages already branded under this template. So for example, this one here says one of five. So let's go ahead and click on that. And then I can simply click on page one, and that's going to move that design over here. So everything about this software is very easy. You can click on things, and then you can drag and drop them around on the page. So what I would do is simply double click on this text here, add in my title of my ebook and write my subtitle and start to customize it for my brand. So for example, this background color, I can click on that. You'll see a color swatch appear here. I can click there and change it to one of my brand colors. And same with this image. I can click on that, go over to photos find a photo that I want instead. So let's say this is going to be about something techy. So I need a computer photo. <laughs> I'm going to grab one of these and drag it over here into this section. So as you can see, my ebook is starting to come together. For a full Canva tutorial, check out the video that I'm linking to right now. I'll also put a link in the description below so you can check that. It's a more in-depth Canva specific tutorial. Okay, so we have our first page here. Now I'm going to click add a new page. I'm gonna go back into templates, go back into my template and add in the second page now. So all I have to do is simply have a blank page here and then click over here on the templated design. And that's gonna bring it over for me. And I can do it again. So I'm gonna add new page, add page three, add new page and page four, and again for our final. Okay, so this is the outline basically of our ebook, and then I can go ahead and customize it for my brand. And everything about this can be customized. So for example, if I didn't want this background color on this page, I could simply delete that and go with this. If I wanted to change the color of these letters, I can absolutely do that. Right, so I could switch it up like that. If you ever want to delete an element, you can simply click on it and then hit the delete key on your keyboard or you can hit the little trash can right up here. Even faster, if I drag my mouse on top of multiple elements at a time, I can delete many all in one go. Okay, so now let's do this section. So I'm gonna click on the background color, change it to one of mine and if you're wondering how I have my brand color saved here, this is because I am on the pro plan. So I do highly recommend that plan. It's only around $10 per month and gives you a few really great time saving features. Okay, so I'm gonna change that color there. Then I'm going to simply keep this photo layout, but replace it with photos that I want. So I can either go over to photos like we just did and search for photos that way or I can go over to uploads 
and I can upload my own photos, as you can see I've done here. So I uploaded that simply by clicking upload an image or video and uploading my photo file. Okay, so now I'm going to click on these photos here, then click on my photo and drag it on top of that specific block to upload there. Okay, and as I said, everything about it is customizable, so always check this top bar here for the editing options that have appeared. So for example, I can click on filter. I was thinking maybe this was a grayscale filter. It's not, but if I go over to adjust, you'll see that they've reduced the saturation, so I could bring this back up to normal. Okay, great, so we would go ahead and do that with those three different photos. And if you ever want this to only show you the photos that are free, you can simply come up here, click on this, click on this little icon, and then click free and apply filters. Okay, so now we know that all of these are free. I'm going to drag that photo there. And if I wanted, I could simply remove the edit that they made. Okay, awesome. So now we can go back here. Again, same thing. You can either replace this with your own photo or you could simply delete that hit delete again, and start customizing this page. So that is how you edit all the different elements. It definitely gets really fun once you are comfortable with the software. So now all you need to do is download it. So first where it says title, I'm going to change that to the title of my ebook. Then I'm going to click on this arrow here. Click on that and I'm going to download it as a PDF print, which is what they are suggesting for us. And this is going to be a super high quality file, perfect for your ebook. So we have PDF print, we're going to do all pages, and we're gonna click download. Okay, so now let's open up that ebook file. So I'm gonna to go to downloads, open up my PDF, and as you can see, this looks awesome and super professional. So that is how you quickly and easily create an ebook. So hopefully this allows you to add an ebook to your product suite and I'll see you real soon with that other video. All right guys, so that is how you create an ebook in Canva. Don't forget to hit subscribe because tomorrow I'm going to be doing a video on how you can offer digital products like this for sale. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful for you. If it was, please let me know by giving this a thumbs up and share it out with anyone you think will benefit from this information. And I'll see you tomorrow with another video.